Well, months after contentious congressional hearings over the threat of anti-Semitism on college campuses, another Ivy League president is on Capitol Hill today testifying about their institution's response to conflicts on campus stemming from the war between Israel and Hamas. Representatives from Columbia University, including the school's president, have been fielding questions from lawmakers for hours at this point. Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer live on Capitol Hill. And Kelly, the last time we saw Ivy League presidents testify on this very same topic. We also saw resignations a short time later. Uh, what have we seen so far? Yeah, we've been listening into this hearing. We actually weren't able to get inside because it is filled to capacity. There's also people you see here in the hallway that were unable to get inside. Uh, but what we keep hearing from the Columbia officials is that they're trying to uh, discipline students. Um, they say there have been some that have been suspended, uh, but they're also saying that they've taken steps to address anti-Semitism on campus with an anti-Semitism task force. They are facing questions in there inside from lawmakers. But what we're also hearing from folks outside the hearing room, both students at Columbia University, uh, Jewish students, as well as uh, Palestinian students, saying that they don't want to see anti-Semitism anywhere, but they also want to make sure that they're able to uh, share their voices and, and have free speech. So there's this intersection of anti-Semitism and free speech that they're focusing on inside this hearing today. So we heard from uh, the president there from Columbia University. Uh, testifying in front of the House of Republican lawmakers as well as Democratic lawmakers there inside. An overwhelming sentiment from both sides that there shouldn't be anti-Semitism on these campuses. The Columbia University president says they are taking steps to discipline students. They say they've suspended about 15 students, six on probation. They said, quote, they are getting the message, the president of Columbia University says. Uh, another uh, official there saying that we haven't done enough yet. We are on our way, but we have a ways to go. They also said what we do for Jewish students, we have to do for Muslim students. Now, House lawmakers uh, presented some of the same questions that they presented to those Ivy League uh, presidents that were ousted following the attack by Hamas on Israel on October 7th. I wanted to play a little bit from inside the hearing room. Take a listen to this. I find those chants incredibly distressing, and I wish profoundly that people would not use them on our campus. I, I wish that even more after the many, many conversations that I've had with our Jewish students when they tell me how they feel when they hear those words. They find it threatening, they find it frightening, and uh, it's abhorrent and has uh, and it has no place in our community. Now, taking a look at the data, there was a 321% spike of anti-Semitism as incidents on college campuses. Anti-Semitism soared by 140% here in the U.S. since the escalation in violence in Israel and Palestine in October 2023. Simultaneously, Islamophobia increased by 300% around the same time frame. There's also students outside here who uh, go to Columbia University that we spoke with, as well as other students, uh, pro-Palestinian students who are uh, saying that they don't want to see any anti-Semitism on campus, but they also want to be able to demonstrate that they don't want to see this continue and are calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. I wanted to play a little bit of what one of the students had to say to us. We've been disallowed from going in um, because I, I don't know exactly why, but the reason we're here is not to dispute that there is real anti-Semitism. It's to say that anti uh, that pro-Palestinian voices have been stifled, they've been censored and suppressed, that there's this real rise in um, anti-Palestinian sentiment and Islamophobia. Now, you're seeing folks breaking here behind us. There, uh, Congresswoman Ilian Ohar is uh, here behind us as well. We'll see if we could grab her attention. Some of the lawmakers coming out and talking with the students here from Columbia University. We'll see uh, what they have to say as they're breaking a little bit from this hearing now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.